Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Roadhouse. Do you know that a cerebellum dysfunction or parietal dysfunction, which are two lobes of the brain, cerebellum is here, parietal is over on this side, you have one in each side. Do you know that when they're not functioning properly that you can get tremors? Patients that have familiar tremors, benign tremors, whatever name you want to put on them, if you go to the neurologist and you don't have Parkinson's but you have tremors, <clears throat> It could be your cerebellum and your parietal. So we're gonna do the neurological testing to test it. When we do the neurological testing, when we do the test, certain parts of the cerebellum affect a, a breakdown. So in other words, let's say we're doing the finger to nose test, you go like this, and on this side here, you go like this and you don't get it. You would obviously do this test with your eyes closed, but I have my eyes, eyes open to show you. The next thing that happens, we do finger to nose the finger, and when you get right to the end, right here, when you're trying to, to finish the test and touch the, the, your finger to the doctor's finger, if it has a terminal tremor, then that can be the cerebellum or the parietal. So we do a functional uh, neurology examination on you to see if you have that. So if you have a tremor and you've gone to the doctor and they've taken a look at you and they can't figure out what it is and or they've given you medicine the medicine didn't work i've had a patient that had <clears throat> been to six different neurologists and had six different um uh prescriptions that didn't work he came in here we did the testing on him and we got rid of the trevors there's also another case called um <clears throat> you can get cerebellar ataxia from a gluten if you have the gluten gene, gluten sensitivity, there's actually antibodies in the that, that show up in the cerebellum if the gluten is attacking that part of it. If that's the case, you have to treat that patient with functional neurology and functional medicine. We'd have to do additional lab tests. But the bottom line is, if you have tremors, then we need to get you in the office and, and get you examined. As a matter of fact, um, I'm gonna show you a video uh, of a patient that had a thyroid problem and she had tremors with her head moving like this and her hands moving like this and we worked on her and we got her improved. So we're going to attach that video. Her name is Sandra and you'll see it. We're going to attach that video with this link so you can see what we can do for tremors. I'm Dr. Roadhouse and if you want to come in and see if you're a candidate for our program, if you have tremors and other chronic health conditions, let's get you and see if you're candidate for our program, 918-481-2770, and let's see if we can't make you have a great day.